Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 100 in the book of Genesis. Thanks for being with me and marching through this together. We're in Genesis chapter 21 today, and today's title is Casting Out Hagar. Um, eventually, we're going to meld two lessons together, maybe about casting out Hagar and then casting upon Jesus. So Sarah and Hagar didn't have a good relationship prior to the birth of Ishmael. And here at the weaning of Isaac, uh, they're also going to misbehave. So kind of everybody's going to end up being a knucklehead. Um, there's probably still some anxiety about who's in charge of um, making Isaac's heritage full. And there's this little bit of a veiled threat between Ishmael and, uh, and Isaac, perhaps some hostility there. Ishmael's uh, almost a grown man. He's somewhere between 15 and 19 years old. His little brother is maybe two to five years old at the time of his weaning. All right, so read with me in Genesis chapter 21. Turn, turn there and understand that God is protecting Hagar and Ishmael, but cast them out. It's crazy. So God is going to ultimately protect Ishmael and his descendants. So that means all the non-Jews, all the Gentiles, and probably you and me, we're the ones that get cast out to dare today. All Virtually all the listeners of the podcast, we get thrown out today. And it sounds topsy-turvy and a little bit crazy, and only God could figure out this whole thing. And what God is doing is he is establishing a covenant with his brother. He's establishing a covenant with Isaac and his then the descendants of, of Isaac. Then in the fullness of time, 2,000 years later and 4,000 years later, if we talk about today, the descendants of Ishmael or those outside of the covenant, outside of the, king, the covenant, have the opportunity to be grafted back in by the covenant that is ultimately going to point towards a faith in Christ. So we throw ourselves in with Christ, but first, we have to throw out Hagar, and specifically, we have to throw out Hagar's covenant. So this is the half of the story that's the casting out story. All right, so the way to, the way to uh, save Hagar and is to cast her out. It's crazy. Genesis chapter 21, verse number 8. And the child, this is Isaac now, grew up and was, was weaned. So he's somewhere between two and five years old. And Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned. But Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had borne Abraham, laughing. So this is Ishmael we're talking about here who's laughing. So she said to Abraham, cast out this slave woman with her son. So it's this, let me pause. This is the disturbing, shocking, but it's the big point. We're supposed to do the same thing as Abraham did. We're supposed to cast out this old covenant so that we can, we can get saved appropriately. All right, so she said to Abraham, cast out this slave woman with her son, for the son of the slave woman shall not be heir with my son Isaac. And the thing was very displeasing to Abraham on account of his son. But God said to Abraham, be not displeased because of the boy and because of the slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you, for through Isaac shall your offspring be, na be named. He's Pause here. He's pointing towards the descendants of Abraham are descendants of faith. Those are, these are people of, of faith from all walks of life, from all families. If you're, you're, if you're a faith person, you're a descendant of uh, uh, Abraham and Isaac. All right. And I will make a nation. But God said to Abraham, let me go back to verse 12. But God said to Abraham, be not displeased because of the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says, do as she tells you. For through Isaac, your offspring shall be named. And I will make a nation of the slave woman also because she is, because he is your offspring, Ishmael. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder along with the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. All right, so this is more than just the story about the knuckleheads in the story. Hagar, Ishmael, Abraham, Sarah. God is in this. God sees the people. God's at work. And he's doing something greater, which is he's working on this covenant with Abraham and Isaac so that you know, the whole family, all believer people from all over the world can eventually join Abraham in, in faith. 
So he's God's giving Abraham descendants, physical descendants, yes, but especially spiritual descendants. And who are they? Anybody who's the person of faith is an a, faith in Jesus is a descendant of Abraham. All right, so we find out something about what happens in the Old Testament from the New Testament. In Galatians 4, 28, it says, Now you, brothers, like Isaac, are children of the promise. But just as at that time he who was born according to the flesh, that's Ishmael, persecuted him, that's what he did in today's story, who was born according to the Spirit, so we're talking about Isaac here, so also it is now. But what does the Scripture say? Cast out the slave woman and her son, for the son of the slave woman shall not inherit the son with the son of the free woman. So, brothers, we are not children of the slave, but of the free woman. So we're giving more of the story in Galatians chapter 4, and the action point is we too are supposed to be throwing out the old covenant. We too are supposed to be throwing out Hagar and Ishmael, so to speak and the covenant that they represent. So we're to cast out the old covenant, the law, the works, the merit, and cast out Hagar and cast ourselves upon the new covenant that's gonna be made with Abraham and Isaac. So in conclusion today, Hagar and Ishmael represent the old covenant of works and merit and adherence to the law. Um, and the covenant of Isaac is going to be the priority covenant. It's going to point us towards the Savior. So it's obviously not very clear to them way back then. And uh, this is the new covenant that saves those from the Old Testament. So Isaac's descendants saved the descendants of Ishmael. So we are going to be associating voluntarily with our, by faith with the new covenant. And in a sense, we're supposed to be casting out this old covenant or by busting out the new covenant with the second born. So it's not by natural selection. It's not by history. It's not by tradition. It's not by works. It's by God's good invention. So God leans in covenant, covenantally for Isaac to help his currently non-covenant brother Ishmael. So we today are supposed to throw out Hagar and what she represents, represents and throw ourselves on Isaac and later on Jesus. That's what having faith is and belief is. That's trusting in Jesus for the big stuff. So who's going to handle your sin, your death, your eternal life? We must cast ourselves upon Jesus. But first, we have to cast out Hagar for the second half of the story. Come back tomorrow.